Standard 6, Subject Maths, Chapter 14, Banks and Simple Interest, Practice at 35. Dear students, what does the picture here show? Find out about the nature of work done in the office. Make a note of your observations. So, we all know that this is a bank. A bank is a government recognized organization that carries out transaction of money. It is a financial organization. Finance relates to money. In the above picture, who are the people shown to be using bank services? We can see students, farmers, women, saving groups, industrialists, professionals and traders. Businessmen are shown to be using bank services. What does the symbol on the bag in the center stand for? The symbol on the bag in the center stands for rupees. What do the arrows in the given picture tell you? The arrows tell us about the monetary transactions taking place. In simple words, it explains the give and take relationship. Now let us learn about calculation of interest. Account holders of a bank are paid some amounts for keeping their money in the bank. On the other hand, people who borrow from a bank are charged an amount for the use of the money loaned to them. Such amounts are called interest. The money deposited in the bank or the money lent by a bank to a borrower is called the principal. So, you have come across two terms in banking here. One is interest and the other is principal. Principal is the amount which we deposit in the bank and then the bank gives us an interest on it. Or, the principal is the amount that we take from the bank and then we pay an interest to the bank. So, this is about interest and principal. Now, let's learn what is percent per annum that is the rate of interest. When calculating interest on a deposit or loan, the rate of interest is given for every 100 rupees. That rate of interest is for a given period of time. A rate of interest that is percent per annum written as PCPA gives the amount of interest due on every 100 rupees for a period of one year that is annually yearly. So now, what is simple interest? In this class, we shall learn only about the interest charged for one year. This is simple interest. The interest charged for longer periods of time can often be quite complicated. That rate is different from simple interest. Practice set 35. Question number one. At a rate of 10 PCPA, what would be the interest for one year on rupees 6000? So here at the rate of 10 PCA, R is 10. Interest we have to find out. Time given is period of one year and rupees 6000 is our principal. Now there are two methods which I am going to show you to solve this sum. You can choose any one method whichever you find easy. First one, I will teach you the textbook method. So in textbook, method 1, which I am going to show you is principal amount we write down as rupees 6000, rate of interest is 10 PCPA and let interest on the principal of rupees 6000 be rupees X. So we have to assume here that the interest on principal amount will be X. Next step. By taking ratio of the interest to the principal for both, we obtain an equation. Next step is to form an equation. You have already learned how to form an equation. So, principal of rupees 6000, the interest taken is x. So, what can be our equation? x upon 6000, that is the interest on 6000, is equal to 10 upon 100. 10 is the interest on 100 rupees. So, this way you can form your equation. X upon 6000 is equal to 10 upon 100. 
Now we want to eliminate this 6000 and find the value of x. So we will multiply both the sides by 6000. So multiplying by 6000 we will remove the 6000. x we will get equal to 10 upon 100 into 6000 here. Now multiply 10 into 6000 upon 100. Reduce the number of zeros. You will get 10 into 60. Okay, that will give you 600. The interest for one year is rupees 600 is your answer. So this way we have solved the sum using first method which is based on the ratio method which is also given in textbook. The second method is using a formula for finding interest. Let's learn about it. In this method, you will also have to write down the principle as P is equal to 6000 rupees. Rate of interest which is R is equal to 10% and time which is taken as T is equal to 1 year. Now we will use a formula for finding interest. The formula is interest is equal to p into r into t upon 100 this formula you will be using even in higher classes so you can memorize this formula for interest which is p into r into t upon 100 now we have to substitute these values so p is how much 6000 p is equal to 6000 so in place of p we write 6000 next is into r R is 10 percent so into 10 and T is 1 year so into 1 upon 100 as it is. Now 0 0 we will reduce and 600 will be left. So when you reduce the zeros you can multiply first then divide. So 0 0 you reduce you get only 600 rupees as your answer. Hence the interest for 1 year would be 600 rupees. So there are two methods which I have shown you. Method 1 is in your textbook. Method 2 is using formula. So those who choose to follow method 2, you will have to write down this formula in your notebook before you begin the practice set. So let's see the formula. Interest is equal to, that is I is equal to P into T into R upon 100, where P is equal to principal, T is equal to time in years, and R is the rate of interest. In the next sums, along with interest, we will also have to find out the total amount which will be received at the end. So there is a formula for total amount also. Principal amount, that is this principal plus interest, you will get your amount. So if I say I am giving 6,000 depositing in the bank and at the end of the year the bank is giving me 1,000 interest. So my total amount will be principal plus interest I will get. 6,000 also I will get back which I deposited at the end of the year plus the 1,000 rupees interest. So total 7,000 I will get as my amount. So amount formula is principal plus interest. So you need to write down this formula in your notebook along with this formula if you are going to use the method 2. Now in this particular video I am going to solve the remaining sums using the method 2. That is using the formula I is equal to P into T into R upon 100. So let's begin with second sum. Mahesh deposited rupees 8650 in a bank at a rate of 6 PCPA. How much money will he get at the end of the year in all? So, first we have to find a P, R and T to find the interest. P is principal 8650. R is rate of an interest 6 PCPA. And time given is at the end of the year means 1 year. So, let's solve the sum. Principal is equal to 8650 rupees. Rate of interest R is equal to 6%. Time T is equal to 1 year. Now we will write the formula. Interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Now we will substitute the values for P, R, T from here. So equals to 8650 into 6 into 1 upon 100. You can multiply first and then divide. You will get the answer as 519 rupees. This solution you can do the way you want. 
you can also reduce 110 and then multiply and divide by 10 so you can solve the sum in the rough therefore now we have to find the total amount because in the question it is mentioned that how much money will he get at the end of the year in all so not only interest we have to find the total amount that he will get so we write the formula amount is equal to principal plus interest now what was our principal 8650 and interest 519 so let's add 8650 plus 519 is equal to 9169 hence Mahesh will get 9169 rupees at the end of the year in all so whenever you have to find only interest you find the interest as shown here if you have to find the total amount that he'll get at the end of the year then first interest and then the total amount you can find out question number three Ahmed Chacha borrowed rupees 25,000 at 12 PCPA for a year. What amount will he have to return to the bank at the end of the year? So we have principal, we have rate of interest and time is one year. Let's find the interest and then we will find the amount that he will have to return to the bank by adding the interest to the principal amount. So let's solve. Given principal p is equal to 25000 rupees rate of interest r is equal to 12 percent time t is equal to one year formula interest is equal to p into r into t upon 100 substitute the values 25000 into 12 into 1 upon 100 you can either reduce the zeros to two zeros here from numerator and denominator and then multiply or first multiply like shown here and then divide by 100 so your answer you get is 3000 rupees. Now this is our interest. Let's find how much MH Chacha will have to return to the bank at the end of the year. And that we can find using the formula amount is equal to principal plus interest. So therefore amount is equal to principal plus interest is equal to 25,000 is the principal plus 3000 interest is equal to 28,000 rupees. Hence Ahmed Chacha will have to return 28,000 rupees to the bank at the end of the year. So this way we have completed question number 3. Question 4. Kisandra wanted to make a pond in his field. He borrowed rupees 35,250 from a bank at an interest rate of 6 PCPA. How much interest will he have to pay to the bank at the end of the year? So here in this question we have principal, we have rate of interest and the time is one year. We have to find out the interest that he will have to pay to the bank at the end of the year, not the entire amount. So in this question we are going to find only the interest. So let's solve. Given principal is equal to 35,000 to 50 rupees, rate of interest R is equal to 6% and time is equal to one year. In bracket we will write the short in short what it means principal is p rate of interest is r and time is t that is a short form now we write the formula for interest interest is equal to you can write in short p into r into t upon 100 substitute the values you get 35250 into 6 into 1 upon 100 you can either divide first and then multiply or you can multiply first and then divide whichever way is suitable to you you will get your answer as 2115 rupees. This is our interest and our final answer also because the question is asking us only how much interest will you have to pay to the bank at the end of the year. So answer, hence Kisan Rao will have to return 2115 rupees as interest to the bank at the end of the year. Okay, this is only the interest he will have to return. If total amount is asked, then we will have to add principal also and tell that how much amount he has to return to the bank at the end of the year. So read the questions properly, answer them carefully. Do learn the two formulas well if you are using this formula. So what are the formulas that you have to remember? Interest is equal to P into T into R upon 100 where P is equal to principal t is equal to time in years, r is equal to rate of interest. So if in a sum principal 
time and rate of interest are given you can easily find the interest with help of this formula or if you find the ratio pattern that is method one easy you can follow that and the second formula that you have to learn by heart is amount is equal to principal plus interest so with the help of this formulas you can solve practice at 35 and also chapter number 14 banks and simple interest with this we have completed the chapter and practice at 35 do practice the sums well in your notebook stay safe keep learning and thank you